Hey guys, today we're talking about blurry vision far away. There's a few reasons for it. If it interests you, stick around. Hey guys, welcome to my new studio setup. Hope you like it. Um, we'll see how it goes today as to whether we use more of it. I've got my new Shore mic. If we haven't met before, I'm Joel Hayden. Welcome to the Eye Care and Wellness Channel, where we talk about how to improve our vision, keep vision healthy, keep our eyes healthy for our lifetime, as well as keeping us healthy for our lifetime. I'm an optometrist and a nutritionist. So, today we're going to talk about blurry vision far away. Pretty simple topic. There's really a couple, only a few reasons for it. Let's get into them. There are 35 to 40 million Americans that are nearsighted, and of them, 10 million of them are severely nearsighted. And every single one of them started out with a little bit of distance blur. So that's why I want to talk about it. So your vision is a little blurry far away. There's a couple reasons that could be, at least a couple major reasons. There's a lot of many smaller reasons, which we won't go into. The first is that you could just be starting to get nearsighted. And... That occurs when things are blurry far away and yet still really clear up close. So you may notice that driving at night's getting tough or driving under low light levels, even at dusk. Headlights coming at you may get a little um, starburst around them. And that can be an early sign of nearsightedness. So the easiest thing for that is just to go get your eyes checked. Find out if you're a little bit nearsighted and get some glasses maybe for driving, driving at night, at the movies, sporting events, things like that. Or if it's something that is really bothersome, you may want to consider contact lenses. So that's the first reason. The second reason is a little different because all of us are on a computer a good chunk of the day. Maybe not all of us, but so many of us, even the kids now, that because we're working up close, we can be overwhelming the accommodative system inside the eye. And accommodation is when we focus to see up close. And if we have to do that for hours at a time, it can be really tough on the visual system. And you're, you are working up close, everything looks fine, and all of a sudden you go to look far away and your eyes won't unfocus. So a good example of this is you're driving to work and you're not having any problems, you're working all day on a computer, and then you go to drive home, and all of a sudden, your eyes are blurry. And that's because you're overworking your eyes on the computer. So I'm gonna give you a few tips that you can do to alleviate that, and hopefully make it better, and if that doesn't do it, by all means, go get an eye exam and see your eye doctor. So the first thing I want you to do is take a break every 20 minutes or so, and just you know look far away and kind of unfocus your eyes, look out the nearest window if you can, and just get off of the computer with your, with your eyes. And that usually will help a lot. Then, if your computer is really close, I want you to just back it away four or five or six inches if you can. And just that much farther away will make it that much easier on your eyes by the end of the day, and that should help as well. The third thing I want you to do, if you think that's where you're falling in, in that over-focusing scenario, is to consider getting blue light glasses, either just for when you're on the computer, or if you actually happen to wear prescription glasses, consider getting the blue light filter in the glasses. It really helps tremendously. You can see the video here where I uh, talk about blue light glasses and why they're important. And then lastly, if none of that seems to help much and you're still having that blur in the distance, go get an eye exam. And your doctor, your eye doctor may tell you that you need a prescription for the computer for reading along with having that blue light protection. So I hope this helped. I hope it was good information for, for you. And until next time, take care.